Hey friends, this is Dolany TV. Glad to have you aboard this afternoon as we get set up to discuss the Edmonton Oilers goaltender situation once more as all of a sudden over the course of the past two, three weeks as this nine game winning streak has evolved, it really looks like maybe, just maybe, Stuart Skinner might actually really be that starting goalie many of us have claimed he has been to the uh, dismay of a lot of upset Oilers fans early this season and in the playoffs last year. But at the same rate, don't mind me in the same fact that Calvin Card has come in and proved me very, very wrong. So friends, welcome aboard to Dolany TV. Glad to have you this afternoon. If you are new to the channel, I encourage you to hit that subscribe button. Now just under 530 subscribers away from 15,000. So would love to have you help out with that whole situation. And with that, we go to the goaltender numbers here, friends, but I wanna make sure I bring up the Edmonton Oilers stats as well over the course as a team. The goals per game is up to sixth in the league at 3.53. The goals against this team at one point had a 3.5 goals against, now down to 3.05, middle of the pack in the NHL. I'll tell you, if you're middle of the pack in the NHL, and you can also score top tier goals, you're probably going to have some success early on in the playoffs while it takes you a few days to get your bodies acclimated to low scoring, hard hitting hockey. 25.4% on the power play. Again, right? The Oilers are doing 3.53 goals for per game despite a seventh in the league power play instead of a number one. And that power play percentage that was at 1.3. 30th in the NHL, I'm pretty sure if we go back and check the numbers, 81.2 for 12th in the NHL overall. Paul Coffey knows how to kill penalties too, apparently. Who would have thought? But we look at these numbers here, friends. We got Stuart Skinner, we got Calvin Card, and we've got Jack Campbell on this screen. So let's go review that right quick. The numbers might be a little small for those of you on mobile. I apologize. For those of you watching on TV, you're watching on the big screen. You're taken care of. But Stuart Skinner is now 17-9-1, so effectively 10 losses, 17 wins in 28 games played. He's allowed 72 goals against a 2.69 goals against average. So by the way, if you go off of Stuart Skinner and Calvin Picard this season, the Oilers are giving up 2.69 goals against per game, which would rocket us up to the top of the league in goals against. With a 901 save percentage and two shutouts for Stuart Skinner, Calip Card's at uh, 902 with a 269 GAA. And oh, by the way, he's 4 and 2 as well. So, friends, like, you got to look at these numbers and say the Oilers have a pretty good goalie tandem going right now. And this is where I'm going with today's discussion. Is it good enough to go into the Stanley Cup playoffs with, right? If the Oilers decide to spend assets elsewhere to acquire talent for other positions, whether it be defense, whether it be forward group, is that a better use now than necessarily acquiring a goalie would have been back three, four weeks ago? That's the biggest question. Obviously, Stuart Skinner, over the span of a 17-game win streak with some games spelled off by Cal Picard, have uh, definitely gone out there and kind of proven that the Oilers don't need to acquire a starting goaltender. Although for a lot of folks back home, I probably am talking to you right now saying, we probably don't feel 100% confident in Stuart Skinner being our game one starter given what happened in the playoffs last year. But if Cal Picard is gonna be the uh, answer as the backup, do you feel uh, enough confidence, I guess, in him as a game two starter to get the series back on track and then have Stuart Skinner win it the rest of the way for you. That's the biggest question here, friends. I'll be interested to get your takes in the comments section below, as always. As uh, For those of you that uh, have seen, I think I've started replying to comments a little bit more than I used to. And oh, by the way, as well, um, I'm always reading everything you say. So don't, uh, don't be shy to throw something down there, because if you throw something in the comments, I'll tell you, sometimes it spurs on a discussion here on the channel and it works out twofold. I get a video out of it, and we get to discuss a very important topic amongst Oilers fans that week. Friends, I'm Tyson. This is Dolany TV. That's your stats on the goalies. What do you think of it? Let me know. I'm up on out of here.